friend Sean Clement here at La Casa di Campo, our uh, location for this week, if you will. And today at Wisdom in Golf, we're going to be talking to you about your shoulder plane. And you hear a lot about steep shoulder plane, shallow plane, all that stuff. And I'm going to demystify all that for you right now so you can know that you're in the right position without even having to see it or try to mirror it or copy it, whatever, because we can't see ourselves. We're not, you know, we're already Pinocchio without the strings. Puppet masters are usually hovering above their puppets and they can see exactly what's going on and what to move. We can't. And that's why we have tasks. So if I have my task, my task is to send that golf ball to the yellow flag right here in front of us. And the best way to put a ball in the air, because I can't go along the ground, there's too much friction and too much dew. So I got to put it in the air with a nice velocity. Well, what's the best way to put the ball in the air? Cut grass. Have a look at my grass cutting videos. You'll, you'll see that the, the club is designed to cut grass. If the sole of the club cuts grass in that direction, the ball meets the face and leaps into the air. So, if I'm cutting grass in that direction with this particular grass whip, and this has been perfectly designed for us because if the leading edge didn't, wasn't sharp enough, you couldn't get through the grass, can't play golf. And if the sole of the club didn't have the right bounce and the right angle, you, you'd, you would dig too much or not enough, and you couldn't play golf. So, going yellow flag, and I'm asking, can I cut grass from here? Yes. No, no, yes. So now I take a backswing. Yes, I can still cut the grass. That feels like I'm gonna gouge the ground. Nope, that feels like I'm gonna scrape the grass before I get to the ball. I wanna cut through that dandelion stem that way, which means I have to take it back this way. So then I continue on to the top. Does it feel like I can cut through the stem from here? Yes. Nope. See, can't do it with this shoulder plane. And so now on the downswing, I'm going to be compromised and I'm just going to drop, drop kick this thing into my, you know, pinky toe. And if I'm over here, it feels like I'm going to throw the club into the ground beyond the ball. So here the ground is in the way of that stem on the way through. Here I have no access. However, there I do, there I do. So from there, cut through, and we've got a wonderful shot moving in the direction of our target. So all we need is a little bit of references, Goldilocks we call them here. I want to go through that divot. I can, I can, I can. Nice shot moving just about five feet left of that yellow flag landing right next to it. So I know my shoulder plane is fine. Now if you look at the shoulder plane in the downswing. So, you know, oftentimes you hear those commentators say, look at how nice and steep his shoulders are through impact and how so many of you are coming over the shot and your shoulders are way too flat coming through impact, the, the, you know, the old over the top. So back to our cutting of the stem here, I'm going that way. Yes, I can. Yes, I can and I'm gonna whip through the stem now. So to whip through that stem, my body's gonna go get the ground. Use the ground to get my body out of the way. See that? Now I have, I'm with my stem, cut through, through the stem along the ground and out toward that target. Look at my shoulders now. See, that's me cutting a stem to the target. Whereas if I default to a ball, ball, see what happens? Now I'm going after the golf ball without a target. And notice my shoulders now, after I'm done, I am, you know, 
coming around and finishing a, a little bit of a roundhouse on the on the other side. So bottom line, you are not defective. Isn't that fun? You can tell that to your wife or your husband. So you have a target. This golf ball here has an infinite amount of directions to attack it from and a lot of different angles of attack an infinite amount of those as well so you know that can be that can be pretty confusing if you don't have a target if you don't have a target to swing to it's like me telling you to go to a round room and stand in the corner not going to work is it so i have my picture now my brain says we're cutting through the dandelion stem that way everything merged everything is now merging in that direction got it got it got it just a little bit to the left of my target on the green nicely struck so Let's look at uh, shoulder plane here real quick with, let's say, a six iron. Hey guys, just popping on real quick to let you know we got a new fitness and nutrition blog on our website at wisdomandgolf.com. You don't want to miss those. They're coming out weekly. Munashe and Savannah are doing an amazing job on that. So a medium length club, you'll notice. I'm a little further away from the ball. Still there, still there, still there, moving in that direction. Got it, got it. And boy, we got it. That was just flush. About five feet left of the flag. That is extremely satisfying. And I, I, I want this for you guys. So get with wisdom in golf first thing i want you to look at is um, the grass whip training tool right you'll see you can pick one up at the at the um, hardware store for about 20 bucks or you can get one of ours uh, that's designed for golf with a golf grip and a golf shaft and everything else for 70 bucks you'll see it on our um, wisdom and golf pro shop page see then the grass whip training series a 30 minute free lesson from beginning to end on how to use that grass whip and how to visualize moving through dandelion stems towards a target. You'll see, it'll just completely revolutionize the way that you think about the game and the way that you move through. And then if you need some extra help, we have a premium channel where you see, you know, dual angles on camera, all in chronological order to see, hey, is it your grip that's holding you back? Is it the way that your arms are moving or folding? You know, is there a little misconception there that's preventing you and short-circuiting you from performing what I just performed for you, okay? Because this is, this is fun. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Start with that. It's very simple stuff. And then you'll realize, hey, you know, I can do this. This is pretty good. It's just like somebody cutting grass in your backyard with a grass whip. That's what we used to do 100 years ago when we didn't have lawnmowers. All the best. See you next week.